Tony DeGray was an All-American back in 84. Now he's helping the next wave of talent elevate their game through fitness in the offseason. Explode! Before, I <laughs> tell the truth, I really didn't know what a workout was. You know, I come in, put some weight on a bench bar, and, you know, pump it out. Think I'm getting a workout, but really I'm not working anything. Williams and a handful of other high school athletes now spend their off seasons working with Tony DeGrate. Good job, Mr. Kenny Williams. DeGrate was a Lombardi Trophy winner for the Longhorns in 1984 and eventually drafted into the NFL. His knowledge of high level competition is helping transform these young men into finely tuned machines. I've always had a liking with strength coaches, so I always wanted to. Once I got to that level, I always dreamed of maybe giving that opportunity to give back to these young men. The physical aspect, Thank however, you. is only half the battle. That's it. The questions they asked me, what is it like to play at the next level? And I said, you got to be mentally tough because what's going to happen is you're a superstar at your particular high school. Now you get in college, everyone's a superstar. How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> DeGrate's definition of strength and conditioning is much different from your standard weight training. His workouts include more non-traditional exercises like getting in the pool, which you wouldn't normally think about for football players. Oh man, swimming in the pool is, is crucial. Every time you mention swimming, they get all excited until they actually have to do the work. <laughs> we sprint, and then we go sideways, and shuffle, and we hit the ground. And then he got us running over bags and through rings, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. The exercises aren't always the most popular, but the gain outweighs the pain. If you come back, you're a football player. Brian Sanders, KXAN, Austin News. Our next inductee enjoyed one of the greatest college football seasons ever by a big country athlete in 1984. A native of Snyder, Tony DeGrate not only played football for the Tigers, but he also helped lead Snyder High School to the state baseball tournament as a senior in 1981. DeGrate was a two-time All-Southwest Conference selection in 1983 and 84 at the University of Texas, but it was his senior year in 1984 that he put together an incredible collegiate campaign. He was a consensus All-American as a defensive tackle in 1984 and was named the winner of the Lombardi Award, which is presented to college football's top linemen. During that remarkable 1984 season, DeGrate set the school record for solo tackles in a season by a Longhorn with 123. He had a team leading 12 sacks and four forced fumbles that year and is still tied for sixth as the all-time sack leader for a Longhorn defender with 27. He is ranked seventh in total tackles in a single season with 147 in 1984 and recorded UT's sixth best single season mark for quarterback pressures as a senior with 38. DeGrate led the team in tackles for loss during the Longhorns unbeaten regular season in 1983 with 19 and again in 1984 with 17. He was the recipient of the Houston Post Southwest Conference Most Valuable Player Trophy in 1984 and was chosen as a team captain his senior year. After his collegiate career, DeGrate was drafted in the fifth round of the National Football League draft by the Cincinnati Bengals and spent the 1985 season with the Green Bay Packers. Please welcome Snyder's Tony DeGrate as the newest member of the Big Country Athletic Hall of Fame.